Hey gang, this is gonna be a quick one. My first week at the new desk job and I'm already running late for everything. <laughs> but we are celebrating differences this month is the theme. This week specifically, we're talking about the changing of the seasons. Now, there's a little bit of a twist to this. You can make it as deep as you want to or just as flat on the face, changing of the seasons as you want to. So what do you celebrate as the differences between summer and fall? For us, it's obvious, the pumpkin patch thing. We just did that yesterday with the kids. Uh, the leaves changing, the idea that the acceptance of change and the encouragement of change and the embracing of something different, although expected, well, not necessarily considering it's supposed to be 80 degrees for three days this week and it's the middle of October, so that's a little unexpected. However, the leaves are changing. It's been very crisp and cool. Um, everything is pumpkin. What do we do when we go from fall to winter? We look forward to the holidays and snow and depending on where you live, uh, you know, cold, fireplaces, bonfires, that sort of thing. When we go from winter to spring, we look forward to the sun again. We look forward to heat, baby heat, the green, the fresh new growth. When we go from spring to summer, we look forward to more heat. Yay, that's my favorite, the heat. I love the heat. Uh, all the flowers blooming, all the fun stuff, getting out of school, being able to do more things outside, the light, the light. I love the long days. <sighs> and again, you know, when you go from summer to fall, it's, it's all a cycle. But if you're going to go deeper, think about the changing of our lives, all right? When we were young, in the spring, you know, what did we look forward to? Getting out of school. Oh, when we got out of regular school and went into college, what do we look forward to? We look forward to getting a job. Once you got a job, what do you look forward to? Going on vacation. <laughs> Not being at your job. Uh, <laughs> and then you look forward to retirement when you're, you know, established in a, a good vocation, I guess. Um, you know, when you have kids, when you go from being single to being with somebody and go from being with somebody to having a family and go from having a family to maybe the kids are getting older and then the kids move out you know what season of your life are you in right now and how are you celebrating the differences between all those seasons um sorry it's a little shaky this is like the only time I can get to this today guys I am sorry I meant to do it yesterday but the kids have been sick and it's crazy so my season is very much I feel like I'm going summer to fall in my life with a lot of things, with my vocation, with the kids, being single again, um, and not really looking for love, but just being happy where I am. Um, I'm sure when I'm, I, I sometimes feel like a crone when you go from, you know, a youth to a lady to a crone. I sometimes feel like a crone, but I, I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. Um, you know, I still would like to feel pretty from time to time, but I'm wearing makeup because I had to do a test run for the timing for the rest of the week when I have to be there at nine. And I was like, oh my God, this is such a hassle. Who does this? And then I'm like, oh, I'm really glad I don't have to be super fake all the time to impress somebody. Figure I'll wear makeup for like the first week and then be like, forget that. They know me now. They haven't fired me. I'm not wearing makeup anymore. My poor skin. Um, so yeah, the changing, changing of the seasons. Uh, there's a lot to think about if you want to go there. If not, that's fine too. But celebrating differences. How are you celebrating differences in the seasons now? How are you celebrating differences in the season of your lives? Uh, do you know where you are <laughs> in the season of your life? And um, just be happy. Be happy. Celebrate. Be grateful. All that jazz. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. All right. And a great week. You know the deal. Holler at me if you have questions or want to talk about stuff. Um, I don't think I'll do a discussion video this week just because really we just ran through it and it's less than five minutes already. So I don't think it'll be a difficult week unless you want it to be a difficult week. And then you can delve into feelings and how you feel about going from a youth to a maiden and to a maiden to a crone. And if you're a guy, you know, that sort of thing. Maybe you're losing your hair, gaining weight, whatever, whatever. You know, if you'd like to go there, you may go there. If not, that's cool too. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.